Captain America. How much longer will it take you to revive? Well, only a few seconds. But I hope by that time, Captain America will have captured both of you. Get out of the window, Matson. dead man has been brought back to life. This astonishing news came from the district attorney's office today when it was announced here that Bart Matson, the notorious Garrett Hansman who died yesterday, was resurrected by Dr. Lyman's life-restoring machine. While there are no known witnesses to the actual operation, Matson was seen escaping from an electrical laboratory in which the body of Dr. Lyman was found in the midst of the wreckage of his machine. You should be thankful, Matson. You're the only authentic case of modern times of a man who has returned from the dead. I owe you a lot for that. Too bad Lyman smashed the machine. Yes, it's unfortunate. However, we've destroyed another enemy. Don't forget that Captain America turned Dirk over to the police. They'll slap a murder charge on him. Oh, I don't think so. The only witness is Captain America, and he can't testify without revealing his identity. If he does that, we should be compensated for the risk we are taking. Dirk might talk if they put the screws on. No. Oh. I'm taking all precautions. Our lawyer has gone to see him. He'll warn Dirk to keep silent. Hello, Grant. Did you get anything out of Dirk? Not yet, but I will. Dirk will crack up when he's charged with murder. But you can't make a murder charge, Stick. You haven't any witnesses. All you can prove is that Dirk was present at the time of Dr. Lyman's death. Any smart lawyer will smash your case in no time. But Captain America will. Captain America was unquestionably a witness. But you can't produce him. I probably won't need to. Dr. Lyman was abducted from his home along with his life-restoring device. His body was found beside the smashed machine. Now, if I can prove that Dirk was the unknown masked man who helped Matson with the abduction, I'll convict him of murder. But you can't prove anything. Gail Richards, your assistant, is the only witness who made a positive identification of Dirk as one of the abductors. Our unsupported testimony will not be sufficient in court. I may be able to back up Gail's testimony. There's still one more witness. May I use the phone? Help yourself. Get me Dr. Malder at the drum museum. Yes, Gardner. Is there something I can do for you? I hope so. We have a prisoner here who we believe is one of Lyman's murderers. Now, we'll have a case against him if you can testify that he was one of Lyman's abductors. But, uh, but he was masked. I only saw the man that Miss Richards called Matson. I understand that. But we'll put a mask on the prisoner, and there may be something, some gesture or some mannerism that you may recognize. At any rate, it's worth the trial. Now, could you arrange to be in my office at 2 o'clock this afternoon? Of course. But I hope you have the right man. What news, Counselor? The district attorney is going to spring a surprise witness to identify Dick as one of Dr. Lyman's abductors. 
I know all about that. I've just talked with the district attorney. As a matter of fact, I have to be the surprise witness. You? Excellent. That will knock that case into a cock hat. I'll get a habeas corpus? On the contrary. I shall identify Dirk as being one of the abductors. Identify him? Well, you can't do that. Dirk will squeal. If he thinks he's being framed to take a murder rap, he'll tell everything he knows. Exactly. He'd become a danger to my organization. I've devised a little plan that will take care of him and the district attorney at the same time. Return to Dirk at once. Tell him he'll be released if he obeys my instructions implicitly. I'll be present when he's brought into the district attorney's office and... Miss Richard says when Matson attacked you, you tore off his mask. That is true. But neither of us saw the face of the other man. The man you're about to see is wearing the same mask you took from Matson. Miss Richards has identified him. We hope you can corroborate our testimony. All right, Davis, bring him in. No, I'm sure this is not the one. Quite right, Doctor. This man is one of my operatives. Bring in the next one. You understand, Doctor, we've got to be absolutely sure. We don't want your judgment influenced by your friendship for Lyman. Of course. My opinion will be without prejudice, I assure you. This unquestionably is the man who looted Matson in the raid on Lyman's house. That's a lie. You're trying to frame me. Are you willing to identify this man under oath? Positively. That's good enough to convict. Book him for murder. Murder? You can't do that. Suppose I talk. What'll I get? If you all name the scarab, I'll accept the plea of guilty of second degree murder. All right. The scarab was Dr. Lyman himself. Oh, that's preposterous. The man's crazy. Lyman was a soul of honor. He might just as well accuse me of being the scarab. That trick won't work. You can't save your neck by accusing a dead man. It's true. Lyman was using his machine to bring Matson back to life. Why did Matson kill him? How can I tell what a man will do who's just been resurrected from the dead? We'll have to have more evidence than just your word. I can prove it, but I won't talk before this guy, whoever he is. All right. If you'll excuse us, Doctor, and thanks for your help. Glad to get you. Glad. Now talk. What's your evidence? Lyman's papers and a list of all his agents. They're hidden in his house. Lyman's house was thoroughly searched before it was closed up. You didn't know the scarab. There are secret compartments in his house that your cat could never find. Take me there and I'll show you. I think you're lying, but I'll call you a bluff and take you to Lyman's house. <laughs> See that you don't fail this time. Dirk has served his purpose and is of no further use to us. He and Gardner must be destroyed. Leave it to me. I'll drop them the minute they come through the door. Not quite so quickly. Before they die, let them know that theirs is the fate of all who attempt to thwart the scarab. D.A. is driving up in front with Dirk. Good. I'll wait in the car. Good work, Matson. I know the scarab wouldn't let me down. Quiet, you double-crosser. When you threatened to squeal, you signed your own death warrant. As for you, Mr. D.A., you're finally going to pay the penalty for interfering with the scarab.
want to who follows us.